Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So today we're doing these ripples with Typhlo. We have some scale by proximity, so they get larger the higher they are, and they also change color based on their scale. So we can start just by creating a regular plane. And let's make it 140 by 140 centimeters. And let's give it 100 by 100 segments. Then you can go under Create, Space Warps, that's this one back here, and select Geometric and then ripple and just drag out the ripple right here in the middle of your plane and we're gonna do amplitude 1 for centimeters amplitude 2 also for 30 centimeters for wavelength and I need to select the plane and click on this button here it says bind to space warp so select that and then click and drag and connect it to the ripple modifier and it should do this so if I turn off edged faces we now have our ripples, but they're not moving yet. So you can just hit Auto key, go to frame 200, and set the face to minus 4, enter, and just make sure that the key is set. And then it goes from 0 to minus 4 over time, and you get these nice ripples happening. So what you can do now is just hide that ripple space warp, and all you're left with is this. So now we can just create our tie flow, birth surface operator and pick this plane and maybe let's rename it our ripple plane and just change the color to right here so you can see it. So now we want to turn these particles into cubes. So shape operator, set it to 3D and select cube and set the display to geometry. So now we have our cubes, but they're not moving along with it. So I'll just add an object bind operator and pick our ripple plane again and say a lock to surface, snap to surface. So now we have our cubes moving with the plane, right? So now basically what we want to accomplish is for these cubes to get smaller, the lower they are. So they're at their lowest down here. And then as they rise up, they get larger. So we'll start with a scale operator so I know that I want the size to be changing over time. So I need to set the timing to continuous for it to continuously update. And I'll set the scale to absolute. And then down here you have this option for scale by proximity. So I'll just say multiply by proximity and now we need to give it an object. So actually I'll just create another simple box here and raise it up to be right at the height of the highest wave so maybe something like this and so now for the object I'll just pick this box and you can just hide selection so nothing has changed yet and that's because this distance is too high so I'll just set the distance to two centimeters right so now we are getting somewhere if you watch this middle portion here as they get down they get small and then as they go up and they get closer to the box their scale goes up so then you can just play with this fall off value. So maybe if I set it to just 10 centimeters, you can see that these cubes get much smaller when they're at their lowest point. So that's a pretty cool look. So maybe I'll leave it at 15. And now we can just do the colors. So the bigger they are, the more their color changes. So we can do that with custom properties operator, put it right under birth. We need to set the timing again to continuous. And for the custom float, I'll say scale magnitude you can name the channel scale enter so this will save um, the scale of the particles over time so we can map their color um, by their size so now we just need a mapping operator again set the timing to continuous say mapping from float and for the channel I'll select that scale channel that I just created up here in the custom properties so now we just need to create the material for it to use so open a material editor, create a new V-Ray material, click on this diffuse map slot and select gradient ramp. And maybe we can make the darkest color like dark blue and then make this one lighter blue and then maybe orange over here. Right, so these colors are the fun part. So I'll leave that up to you to play with to get the kind of look that you want. I'll just select Type Flow and apply this material straight to Type Flow. Now we can't see any of the colors yet, and it's because we need to enable this normalized value. And also in the material editor, make sure that you click Show Shaded Material in Viewport. 
So at this point, you need to play with these minimum and maximum values for the normalization to get the colors to show up just the way you want. So maybe I'll just set the maximum to five, right? So the lowest ones are the blue and the highest ones are the pink. And so now the fun part is that you can just drag these sliders in the color and it will update in real time for you. So you can get just the right color in the places that you want. So you can also just apply a black material to the plane, our ripple plane. Right, so now as I go forward, I have something like this. Right, so maybe if you feel like the cubes are too big, you can always just go back to scale and set this scale value to maybe just like 80% and it will make everything much smaller but it will also change the colors right because they are colored by their scale so when you make them smaller they will move over on the color spectrum so then you just have to adjust the colors again so then I can just unhide my usual lights that I've prepared as always don't forget to add a mesh operator so it shows up in viewport enable the IPR and now you can see that we are getting something like this. So just be aware that it looks wrong on the first few frames and then the color will settle into place. And around frame 10, it starts looking the way it should. So then you get something like this. And if you want it to be loopable, after you render out these 200 frames, you'll just have to find um, the frame that is the same. So like maybe for me, I think it was like frame 20 something and then 180 something, right? Like where it's in the exact same spot and then you can just export that range and it will loop. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this helpful as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be uploading more and I'll see you in the next one.